So welcome back to my channel. This is GamerDom and this is the Rubicon Pac-38, Pac-9738 model with cruise. Anti-tank gun, German anti-tank gun. 28mm or thereabouts, um, uh, they're saying 156 scale plastic anti-tank gun with five crew in mid-war uh, uniforms. Bought this um, because I'm trying to, as I've shown on the channel before, I'm trying to build out a German recce force and um, one of the, a couple of the options I'm looking at needs one of these guns in it. Also, it's a very, very very versatile tank, uh, anti-tank gun if you're looking to play Germans in bolt action or any other world systems because these were very prolific. Um, they were designed and implemented after the Spanish Civil War uh, 50 millimeter anti-tank gun um, and was in use right the way through the war um, until quite late on and nine and a half thousand of them were, were commissioned and built um, which is quite a substantial number and, and was only replaced by the pack 40 uh, the 75 millimeter once um, it became uh, apparent that this 50 mil just wasn't packing enough punch to deal with particularly the Russian tanks on the Eastern Front. So um, it looks to be an interesting model. I, I have to say I haven't made many Rubicon models. Uh, and as I've said also on other unboxes, I'm not really a model maker. I'm, I'm a war gamer who gets the models done to, to play the game. Um, so I try and shy away from <coughs> overly complicated models. However, this looks pretty simple, doesn't it? Look at that. That's that's the main. These are just crew. These extra ones. Um, that's just the. <laughs> I think even I can work through that one. And bearing in mind, there's two variants of gun here, so it doesn't look overly complicated. Um, so you've got the kit here to build the pack uh, 38 five, uh, five centimeter gun. Or the 75 millimeter pack 9738 uh, which was a sort of interim gun um, and depending again it's a, a one with multiple variants so you've got to be careful which one you're going for uh, that barrel obviously if it's the um, uh, the earlier gun the 50 mil and then the 75 if you're doing that one gun carriages look to be pretty much the same although again you have the option to put it in trailer position if you would rather um, which is an interesting option as well, but I think I'll probably deploy mine um, with the, with the stabilizers out. There's two different gun shields, uh, depending on the type of gun, and different um, canister and uh, ammunition boxes, depending on which one you're playing. Um, and then the crew uh, standard. So, looks to be pretty simple. Simple's my middle name, so I'm uh, kind of happy with that. Uh, doesn't look to be many parts, so um, yeah, should be a good one to make up. So let's see. Back in a minute, in your time, a minute <laughs> when I've when I've made the model. So there we go. There, model made up. Looks okay. Oops, a bit of polyfiller on there. Um, it's fiddly, really, really fiddly, with people like me with old fat arthritic fingers <laughs> it's hard work putting this thing together it's so fiddly um the instructions are really clear and the fact there's two different guns um within the kit is very clear you can you can see very easily which ones you're supposed to use depending on the variant you use and i think the overall effect's good but wow it's fiddly um also fitting on a base so I've had to modify a base uh, because the circular one, it doesn't fit. Uh, it hangs off the end. So I basically cut down the middle of a, I need to work on this to finish it off, but I've just cut down the middle of a, well not middle, just slightly off center of the circular one, stuck another bit of MDF on the end just to give it that strength and also allows me to put the the shells, uh, shell boxes and what have you that provided. Uh, the crews you get five uh what's that two four five crew members and they're okay they look like they're going to need a bit of a wash 
because they're very shiny plastic. But we'll give it a go. So next stage, a bit of paint. So there you go. There's the finished item painted up. I think it came out pretty well. Based up on that funny base I created, uh, which fits it pretty well. Uh, put a little couple of, or well, three marks, <laughs> like it's got three kills. Yeah, it doesn't harm to boast her. Huh? I think it come out, put the ammo um, cases on the side there, on the back there. Uh, there's the five crew. Couple of loading guys, officer, uh, and just other guys. Obviously, for bolt action, you only need um, three crew. But, you know, that's what it comes with, so that's what it's got. So, I think overall, quite pleased with the outlook of it. Um, this will grace. I mean, the beauty of this um, Pack 38 is it, um, it can be used for quite a long period of time. Uh, it was. Uh, you know, quite a popular vehicle, quite a popular anti-tank gun for the German forces. Um, so I'm um, looking forward to trying it out on the battlefield properly, rather than just as a proxy, which is how I've used it up till now. Um, but I think the model's good. Uh, the Rubicon ones are... So I'm not going to say I'm a massive model maker, um, or ma massive experience, but the ones I've made so far, the Rubicons seem to be more for the modellers. The Warlord ones seem to be more for the gamers, is how I would characterise I mean, it's not completely accurate. And, you know, there weren't many parts in this. Um, but the parts there were were fiddly as hell. And when you've got fat, arthritic fingers like me, um, I found it really quite hard at times just to, to clip it together. Just notice it's got a bit of dust in there. Um, so, um, yeah, I... I, I was it easy? No. Um, the selection of the bits was very easy to do. Um, it's very clear on the on the on the um, sprills that uh, which ones are for which model, which is great. Even for an idiot like me, I can see very clearly which which one goes with which bit. Um, but as I say, it was fiddly. I have to say, it was very very fiddly. Uh, um, lots of little tiny bits that. You know, for those of us that aren't modellers, you're going, why the hell couldn't they just cast that as one piece rather than making it into two or three bits that you need to then glue together? But, you know, I know I'm not, uh, different people get models for different reasons. Uh, as I've said on many times, my painting, my modelling is all about getting the figures on the table as quickly as possible and getting to use the damn things. Um, otherwise, I don't really see the point. But other people I know have a different opinion and like to model. This is definitely more of a modelling model uh, than a gaming model, but once it's finished, it looks pretty good. And it wasn't awful. It wasn't terrible. It was just a little bit fiddly. Unnecessarily fiddly, is <laughs> how I position it. Anyway, I hope you found that little look at the um, Rubicon Pack 38. I think it's a nice model. It will be a nice addition to my German forces. Um, and I look forward to uh, trying it out. I think I've got a game coming up in a couple of weeks uh, down at the Farmer Club, um, taking on uh, Silvio's Italians, so that'll be interesting. So it'll be another attempt to, to roll out my uh, recce force and see what I can do. I've got a new version of it that I want to try out, um, and so um, looking forward to trying it and seeing what happens anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed please do just click the little subscribe button and hit the bell notify it tells you when i post stuff which i'm trying to do on a semi-regular basis but um there probably won't be a battle report this week because i don't think i'm going to be able to get down to the club which is a shame um i miss my friday gaming if i don't get down to the club but unfortunately real life sometimes gets in the way um so i don't think i'm going to make it but anyway uh, i'll get you a report up as soon as i can in the meantime hope you found this useful and fun this is gamer dom signing out have fun doing whatever you do enjoy your games see you later